That's the vibe. Yep. You know, yep. you know, everybody, yep. all races, not just white and black, all races, right. Mexicans, Asians, they all on each other. Nothing has ever happened to a rapper, entertainer ever under J Prince's exactly. care. A exactly. boxer, none of that. Shit. Nobody exactly. ever got jumped, robbed, none of that killed, none of that shit up under the old man. Old oh, man. Yes. Speaking yeah. about old man. What's up, world? It's your boy Big Court and the Holding Court Podcast. What's up with your producer Ken? Oh man, we got we got the legend back. Man, Go. we got the legend. He done spent the block on us, bro. Part two, man. You know what I'm saying? For part two, baby. Oh, two, absolutely. Baby. I already knew that was coming. Yeah, yeah. I knew baby. that was coming. We line man. that up today. Hey, but listen, I, man, I consider this man my brother, bro. You know what I'm saying? The homie Yuckmouth. What's Salute, up to you, bro? Big Court, we in this bar. One more time, man. Yeah, man. Me? Thanks for the invite, man. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know I had it. to. You know I had to bring you back, man. Our yes, last sir. one, you know, people love the chemistry. All right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Shout out to y'all, man. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. But thanks for the opportunity, man. Your shit is blowing up. It's yeah, big. You I know appreciate what I mean, I like that, how y'all operate, man. How y'all just keep it active. You know I what appreciate I mean? Keep that. the clips coming out. The excitement. It's like, yeah. oh shit, it's about to come. Like y'all get the notifications. Mm -hmm. I get the notifications. <laughs> and shit. I'm like, oh, this about to drop. Okay, I appreciate that, man. So I appreciate. I like how y'all doing it, man. Salute to y'all. Both Likewise, yeah. appreciate that, bro. And you know, shit, we got inspired by you. You know, you started this podcast thing before a lot of people. Facts. A lot of people don't Facts. know that. Thank you, you know sir. What I'm saying? Thank you, man. Yes. You trailblazed this for a lot of us. And United Ghettos. What yeah, we talking yeah, about? Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. Thank and you, laid bro. the foundation for what this podcast Thank and this you. content is. You know, Thank you, conversational bro. content. No, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. of, I mean, at the end of the day, man, I like when I start doing it. I just want the history. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just right. to know where right. niggas right. came from. Exactly. You know what I mean? They background story. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. back then, all we had was a magazine. Mm -hmm. And the magazine only had certain people that was popping their story. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Their interview. And then you still didn't get the deep, deep, deep story. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So when I start doing the DVDs, I just wanted to get the deep story of my favorite artists. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That the magazine wasn't saying. You know, the shit that they don't say in a magazine. The shit that you don't see. Um, on you don't hear on song, you know what I mean? Or don't see in a video, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like what's their favorite hobbies and shit like that, their favorite food, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Shit like that, they Real favorite shit. weed, they favorite mm -hmm. drink, liquor, you know, where they like to hang out, what's their best place they ever toured at, you know what I mean? And shit mm -hmm. like that, you don't know that mm -hmm. just from a fucking magazine, so. You know, mm -hmm. that's when I started just like being interested in hearing them type Good of shit. stories and Good start shit. doing and this type of content. And and I and you you do it well, brother. You Thank know you, what I'm sir. saying? We enjoy Thank it. You. Thank you. Um so you know I had to bring you back, bro. Uh -oh. We gonna dive right back. Uh -oh. We gonna we gonna dive right into it, you know what I'm saying? Um unfortunately we've had some uh, you know, some some tragic turn of events in hip hop. We you know, we lost uh, just recently the homie Takeoff uh, from the Migos. Rest in peace to Takeoff. Uh, rest in peace to uh, Takeoff. Condolences, condolences to his family. family. Condolences to, you know, the Migos, his Everybody family, QC, QC, all of them, all you of know. Them. Um, big loss, humongous loss for Super the culture. Super loss for hip hop. Yeah, and um, obviously, bro, you know, we both, you know, uh, Jay Prince Sr. is a friend of the show, OG. He's always, you know, embraced me. He's been to the show. He supports what I do. He considers me family and likewise. And obviously you as well, you know, being signed to rap a lot and being heavily affiliated with rap a lot, being a part of the family. I'm not even going to say affiliated. Actually, he got the chain the on family. today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, now I don't know how, how, in, you know, ingrained you are with, mob ties because i understand that's junior's thing you know what i'm saying but it's all still you know under the same umbrella um a lot of talk bro it's a lot of talk a lot of speculation we not gonna get into doing the the the, the internet investigation and and throwing out false narratives and or creating false narratives or feeding false narratives um you know because all that shit ain't even secondhand knowledge that's like hundred and fifty thousand hand, you know what I'm saying? Information. Right. It went right. through and a million motherfuckers down. that got yeah. passed down and watered down. When the, down. Word, when the so, word first come out, mm -hmm. by the time it get to the hundred person, that shit is changed all the way around. It's completely different, so. you know what I'm saying? And of course, we know little sound bites and different things like that. But you know what I want to ask you, bro, is is let me let me say this because again, like we said, we want to be very careful. You know, um, um, you being with 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 rap a lot. I, I first want to start by you know, the old, with old man, you know what I'm saying? We both know how he's cut. We know what his get down is, right? Uh, we know this is nothing that he would, you know, okay or sanction or be a part of by no stretch of the imagination. Um, give a little context to what senior, like who he is, who he was and who he is to you, his character. I know, um, I know he's a renaissance man. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like a like a man, a, a jack of all trades, man. You know what I mean? Um, a very smart, intelligent, you know what I mean? A religious guy, God-fearing guy, go to church every Sunday. Um, just a, a, a real, I, he was the richest black man I ever met, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Straight up. And he handled his business that way. Made sure everybody in the, in the from the family to everybody that worked the rap a lot was treated as family. You know, it wasn't like you was a worker. You you was one of the princes, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You was up under the family. They treat you as such. It was situations to where, you know, um, you got situations to where, let, let's, you know, rest in peace to Pac, but he had a situation where he went to jail and he had a million dollar bail and he was on Interscope, you know, and they just let him sit there, you know, and Suge had to get him out. Of course, it was a collaboration within, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people that got that money together, yep. but they Interscope. came and got him out, right? Mm -hmm. Finally, but, you know, mm -hmm. from the rip, they, they didn't want to touch it. They left him locked up. Um, I had a situation where I got locked up on, on a promo tour, you know, $150,000 bail. That shit was paid within 30 minutes. I was bailed out quick. Whatever it took for me to get processed, I was right out that motherfucker on a Sunday. So mm. yeah, Jay ain't having it, man, period. He ain't gonna leave his artist just sitting up mm -hmm. the right. He gonna bail you out of jail, make sure your lawyer shit is right, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And make sure you can continue doing your rap shit in your career, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So. Um, it was more family over there. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I considered him as like a, a godfather, you know what I mean? Right. Like a stepdad or something like that. Right. Give you good advice on life, give you good business advice. You know what I mean? The best business advice he gave me, and this is when I um uh uh when I was uh offered a joint venture deal after I made this decision, you know, I'm complaining about my album budget and I'm like, yo, I need the new budget for this album, you know what I mean? Plus I got the independent thing, I need a budget for that too. Woo 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 woo. And he like, bro. He said, I could give you fish, you know what I mean? I could give you whatever you want. Right now, I could give you fish, or do you want me to teach you how to fish? Mm -hmm. I said, you know what, teach me how to fish. He said, cool, boom, put that deal to the side. Ah, we 50-50, mm -hmm. this is how you fish, mm -hmm. you know? And then I came out with, you know, my United Ghettos and all right. that through Rapper right. Lot, Thug right. Lords and whatnot, but that was teaching me how to fish. He right. gave me that opportunity, you know what I mean? A lot of labels don't do that. They just keep you under the artist to point deal. Nobody ain't gonna say, hey, let's do a joint venture. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, he gave me that um offer, that opportunity, and I took it. He was also the first one to give me a solo deal. Mm -hmm. Like everybody paying a narrative that I was a nigga that was out there like, fuck no, fuck the loonies, I wanna go solo. Never was a thought in my mind. Mm -hmm. I never thought about being a solo artist. I always was a group nigga, mm -hmm. period. So. Jay offered me that deal and mm -hmm. I took it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like what I'm gonna say, nigga, this is a legendary record label that also signed, you know, the first West Coast artist from my neighborhood. Seagram. Seagram. Yeah, rest in peace to Seagram. Seagram Miller, rest yep. in peace. Mm -hmm. So he's from my neighborhood. This is the first West Coast artist signed to rap a lot. So my whole neighborhood is rap a lot at the fuck out mm -hmm. to where we had crews. Smoke a lot crew and a drink a lot crew. Did drink the smoke a lot, a lot come from, from the rap a lot deal? From, from, from learning how to fish, the name? Nah, I, I was smoke a lot before that. I was smoke a lot during the loonies. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, he said that. Like, you mm -hmm. smoke a lot, you need to be at rap a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But that came mm -hmm. from our little crews we had in the Ville because the Seagram was signed to rap a lot. Mm -hmm. We had little crews. The niggas that smoked the weed was the smoke a lot. The drink a lot niggas was the niggas off the ENJ, the Hennessy yeah. and shit, the 40s or whatever. We had little crews like that. So. Going into rap, I start naming my crew. Numb, he drinks, so you the drink a lot crew. My crew, right. we the smoke a lot. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So that's, and then my label was smoke a lot. Yeah. So I started smoke a lot in 96. Yeah. Been in corporate since 96. Oh, wow. So when I'm, I have- I'm curious, um, just kind of, not necessarily off the subject, but how how did Jay, how did Seagram uh, get on Jay's radar from Oakland? Jay got people in Oakland. Okay, because he got, was he was tied yeah. to Six Nine Ville. Right? Yeah, Jay Jay okay. got people in Oakland. A lot okay. of family in Oakland. Okay, you know what I mean. And um, they I think they put him on to Seag. Okay, because you know I mean? the first time I heard Seag was on uh Gangsta Nip mm -hmm. when they did uh Action Speaks Loud. Action Speaks Loud and Words. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's yeah. the one, nigga. Yeah, and I had Gangsta Nip. Lit. Gangsta we Nip. We love Gangsta, Gangsta Nip, Nip in the, the Ville, shit, nigga. Bro. All that yeah. fucking uh, <laughs> wages of sin. Yeah, all that yeah, demonic yeah. rap slaughter. Shit. Uh, yeah. Psycho, uh, South Park Psycho, all of that. Yeah. Oh man, it was, a, <laughs> it was, oh man, we was on it, bro. We, yeah. nigga, we was even on, uh, uh, what the, the Convicts. Before, the Convicts, before yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah convicts. Before it was yep. Big Mike yep. Solo, Because it was convicts. convicts and it was the terrorists, too. Was, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, the terrorists, yeah. So, yeah. yeah we, I we think 3-2 was, was in, uh, two. it was 3-2. Yeah. Rest in peace to 3-2. Big Mike, they yeah. was the Convicts. Yep, rest in peace to 3-2. Um, so, um, going back to Old Man, you know, I mean, 
from what I know, you know, of course, No Limit and Rap A Lot have always been, you know, family. Right. Uh, QC is family as well. Right. You know, to No Limit. Right. Um, <clears throat> family um, to, to Jay Prince. Yes. Too also. Yes. And family to Jay Prince right. as well. Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, it's fair to say, I mean, listen, none of us are infallible. You know what I mean? We all have grown and we all walk, you know, go through our journey and we grow. You know what I'm saying? We know Jay to be Jay and who he was. You know, Jay is a... a you know, man, he's like we, the Godfather. But still, you know what we I mean? got to address the elephant in the room, man. Right. Like, nothing has ever happened to a rapper, entertainer, ever up under Jay Prince's exactly. care. Exactly. A boxer, none of that shit. Nobody exactly. ever got jumped, robbed, shot, none of that shit. Killed, mm -hmm. none of that shit up under the old man's. Old man. Yes. You know what I mean? Up Speaking under him, up under man. his wing. Yeah, yeah. Now, the old man is the old man. Right. Mob ties is the kids. Exactly. That's they shit. Something separate. You know what yes. I mean? Something totally yeah. separate. Yes. So what the kids do, I don't think it's right that they blame, not even the kids, one child, yeah. because Jazz wasn't even there. You can't right. blame Jazz neither because right. he wasn't present. Right. So one child had some, you know, a yeah. altercation or whatever mm -hmm. that went bad. Mm -hmm. That You can't blame that on, on old Jay man. or uh, yeah. Jazz. That's exactly. not fair, bro. They it's wasn't not. there. And, and another thing- Just I because wanna... you say they, right. they mob ties. Oh, yeah. they mob ties, <laughs> so that's how they move. That's how yeah. they move. Oh, yeah. in that case, then what? Drake mob ties? Exactly. Is Drake- you know, a yeah, part of that? Yeah. No, it don't yeah. make fucking sense. Drake wasn't there. Right. Jazz wasn't there. Jay Prince Sr. wasn't there. Right, right. I agree with you, brother. How the fuck I'm responsible I for it? I agree with you. My son in jail right now, my oldest. Mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing to do with his criminal Real activity. Shit. Whatever Real he shit. did to get in jail, I ain't got nothing to do with me. And and you know what? And so the same how the thing fuck with me, bro. Are we getting we responsible got, for what our for grown what our ass kids, kids do. My oldest is 30, you know what I'm saying? So the same way, bro. Like. Jeffrey Dahmer had parents, right. you know, uh, Charles Manson had parents, you feel me? Like, you know, you can't hold, you know, the parent responsible for, you know, and we don't even know what's what at the end of the day, but I'm just saying, you know what you I mean? You can't, like. It, it, it don't, it, that don't have nothing to do with old man, but what I want to ask you. No, no, is, let me ask you one more question. Yeah. So, go ahead. that being said, right, it's a mm -hmm. no snitch culture, right? Right. It's a no snitch culture, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what is this called when you falsely implicate falsely like try to imprisonate people that mm -hmm. wasn't even involved with it. Mm -hmm. It's not dry snitching because it's not true. Mm -hmm. So what's that word for people that implicate people that's not there and trying to Just falsely hearsay? incriminate yeah. them? Yeah, it's hearsay, it's gossip. You know what I mean? That ain't I no think. fucking, it gotta be a, a I, harsher I, word for that. I, I don't like know. snitching. I, I don't know that, I can't say that it's snitching. You want me to tell you why? Because with How? This, I'm gonna tell you falsely why. No, no, I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> because it's the internet, right? So it's the internet just regurgitating, well, you know, uh, just gossip and oh. innuendo. So what happens me? when you snitch? What you mean? When you snitch, you just snitch. No, what happens to the person you snitch on? Shit, they, they go get to jail. It. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So these people that they're implicating yeah. are in danger of going to jail. Yes, yeah, for so, sure. For sure. That's snitching. Yeah. If you telling on something and somebody goes to jail for it, that's snitching, but, right? But usually a snitch is telling from I, firsthand I, I, knowledge. I, 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 you see what I'm saying? I, 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 that's still snitching because you're watching the video and you're detecting it. You're doing your inspector gadget. I don't know if that's snitch. That's 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 gossip. Oh, there's clout chasing going on too right now. Yeah, because you might be mixed up in there what too. You got they, big what if platforms. somebody get arrested that they're saying? And they do, bro. That's what the that's the unfortunate thing about it, bro. People arrested that they're implicating. Well, this is what I'm going to say. That's what I'm it's saying. Not, it's not. Uh, yeah, what it's, is that called? It's tricky, called? bro. It's tricky. If I they ain't get arrested, snitching. What is that called? Because if you commentate and you leave it. If they get arrested, come on, court. We no, both on the bruh. street, my no, nigga. No, 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 what is it called? No, if it's you... it's snitching if a motherfucker has direct knowledge and goes directly to law enforcement to say, "Hey, this motherfucker did this." A motherfucker types of on, snitching, on, my and nigga. on the internet just <laughs> just typing some shit. Snitching, you know what I'm nigga. saying? That's just some irresponsible shit. I mean, maybe maybe the blogs, maybe the motherfuckers who put the loudspeaker on the narrative, maybe they snitching because just your average everyday motherfucker in, in on a phone. And somebody in the house, shit is messy. Hell, bro. It's messy. If it you is gotta, messy. Check this out, man. If you have a platform, yeah. biggest, you know. Yes, yeah. I mm -hmm. ain't gonna say the name. Right, right, right. Biggest their platform. Yep. They the yep. biggest fucking platform. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You got a big ass platform. We had heard of somebody called Tasha K, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. She had a big ass platform. Yeah, her she ass was just spreading got a narrative yep. about uh Cardi B. Yep. Saying she had herpes, yep. that she did drugs, and yep. she was setting people up this, that, and the mm -hmm. third. Like her she had first hand knowledge. Yeah. 
She gets sued mm -hmm. for this shit for millions of dollars. Tasha K now lives in Africa, hiding <clears throat> out somewhere. But that's something. Avoid but, No, 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 no. Oh, go ahead. Let me let you. You got to be responsible for what you put out there. I agree. Now, if something happens to to the Prince family and yeah. that type of like, it, it could go to some street shit. No, they can't sue these blogs for defamation. That for you putting can. them in danger. So defam defamation and snitching two different things. I said sue. I didn't say sue for snitching. I said right. sue, sue for defamation, yeah, just like yeah, Tasha sure. K did. For sure. So I'm saying, yeah. more of the story is you, 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 you content creators got to watch what you put out. I agree there. a thousand percent. Bro. You know what I mean? Because Hell they yeah. can come for you just like they came for Tasha K. Yep. Yep. They, they, they send your ass. Yep. A, uh, oh fuck, Tasha K. Mm -hmm. Fucking uh, 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 the dude, Alex Jones. Yeah. Half a billion. Yeah. No, nine hundred million, right? Yeah, real shit. Almost a billion. Real shit. Over I think narratives. You yeah. got two things though, right? Mm -hmm. Because you got these platforms that are media now. Mm -hmm. It's different than media back in the day. Media back in the day is just print. Right. There's newspaper. Mm -hmm. right. Now you have people from the culture who run big media. Mm -hmm. So I think to some extent they're snitching. Cause snitching is a street thing, right? Like mm -hmm. if a civilian say something, it ain't snitching, mm -hmm. right? My thing is this, if you're talking about street business, it is snitching, my nigga. <sighs> like the neighbor could look out the window and see somebody get yeah. shot yeah. and tell the police, I saw somebody get shot. Even though that neighbor ain't in the street, this is a one that go to yeah. nine to five, he's not in the street selling crack right. or whatever. He just witnessed it and told the police, hey, that's snitching. Yeah. Without even having to be involved, you've seen it. You yeah, know what I mean? I, I, or you could say, or the motherfucker say, I just heard a gunshot. Yeah. But I know these dudes out here, they sell dope. It's yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just yeah. pointed at them just because they sell dope and they on the block. You heard a gunshot. Yeah. You didn't see nobody do it. Yeah. But they did it because they sell dope and I know they did it. <clears throat> I, I I will say this. Come it's, on. De it's definitely an interesting, you know, space because if you look at Clubhouse, right? Right. Clubhouse is super messy, bro. You know what I'm saying? No, like, man. I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with Clubhouse either. I don't fuck and with you it. know what you have is like the police, law enforcement, they don't even really have to do nothing no more. They could just sit back and watch YouTube. They and don't gotta to, do and shit. To Clubhouse, you Say know? that again. So, so I think that people do, especially with platforms, they do have to be responsible, bro. Because they you got, got like for me, right? I've been doing this like 13, 14 months, right? And I always tried to be very mindful and very careful about, like I've had opposing influencers on my show, right? So I always try to be careful not to gaslight and, and, and you know what I mean? Like get get messy and, and be trying to incite but shit. But that's what they want I can clickbait. Under, for clickbait. That's, but see, you're, you're but see different. I'm a real motherfucker because I know that when the shit go down on the street, I'm nowhere to be a, you know to be found, Bro, but I contribute We've also to had a lot of shit that's you, happened and we were like, no, we ain't gonna put that out. You like different, you. I'm yep. different. Joe Budden different, mm -hmm. Nori's different. We come from the game. Right. We have money exactly. already. We're exactly. not trying to get YouTube pennies and exactly. trying to milk the game for clickbait nah. and do all this nah. shit to make a living. We already made a living. We got right. residuals. You got right. all types of right. other shit you invested in. Everybody right. got shit that we make money on. We don't mm -hmm. got to do this. Exactly. So we don't got to go against the grain and say yeah. false shit and false narratives mm -hmm. to get clicks and get views and to try to get YouTube pennies. Yeah, real shit. We don't do that. Right, right, right. Period. And we then, ain't got to do that. And the other part I want to touch on too is just, it's kind of like if you look at it, right? Like with the shit happening, you know, with Takeoff and just, you know, PNB Rock, Clubhouse, the way that even us having a discussion about media and right. we talking about the culture, right? Listen, let's just have the uncomfortable conversation, bro. What it is, is niggas doing nigga shit. Because if you think about it, bro, right. no other, no other culture uses social media like we do. Go to Clubhouse. We the only ones on there tearing each other down, threatening each other, exposing each other, lying on each other. We the only ones that gossip and try to find the most unflattering thing to point out about somebody. It's only us, bro. So you know, us. so we got to take responsibility. We you can't don't be hear pointing. The country singers on Clubhouse nah, going hard and nah. shit. Hey, I got the nope. best room tune song. Fuck yeah. We coming over there. We <laughs> going to slide real. on you with the 12 exactly. gauge and light you up. <laughs> like, exactly. you don't hear none of that shit. You don't hear the like old exactly. school motherfucking pop wave, new wave pop right. artists and shit, right. rock and roll punk right. bands and shit, going at it, grudge artists, I'ma fuck you up with a guitar, and when I yeah. see you, I'm gonna, like, none of that, but real shit. this black culture, man, we hate the shit out of each other, man. We it's do, the Willie bro. Lynch shit on steroids, bro. I read that, I mean, I read like the first little paragraph yep. about it in, in junior high school, right? Yep. And I never thought this shit was 
what fruition because mm -hmm. in the 80s, this is when I was in junior high school, mm -hmm. this is when it's all black unity, black power. Mm -hmm. This is when rap is positive, Karis yep. one. -Clan. You got X-Clan, yep. you got public enemy, exactly. you got poor righteous teachers, brand right. Nubians give you a, right. a message about spirituality mm -hmm. and black unity. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this shit will never work. Yeah. This Willie Lynch shit would never, we too unified. We right. wearing African medallions and shit. Yeah. Everybody Nubian, Queens, and you know, this, that, yeah. and the third, and black, like we had the mm -hmm. Panthers and shit at this mm -hmm. time. I'm like, this would never happen. Mm -hmm. Fast forward time, it's right in front of my eyes. Yeah. This shit is happening in front of our fucking eyes. Yeah. It's the old against the young. That's why yep. you got the old nigga, the young niggas like, you old ass nigga, you Real broke shit. old niggas. You, yep. you, that's going on yep. a lot. You got the old niggas like, oh, these wild niggas, fuck them niggas. Yep. You got the females against each other, yep. you know what I mean? The ones that's, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, the ones that's up and the ones that's down. Oh, you broke mm -hmm. bitch, whoop, whoop, whoop. Or mm -hmm. The ones that's, you know what I mean? That ain't powerful. The mm -hmm. ones that got babies and married, you know what I mean? The ones that ain't in relationship, they going against each other. The baby mother, I mean, the mother is going against the daughter. Mm -hmm. The son is going against the father. If you see in the news right now, they can't control their kids. The kids is beating up their parents right now, beating mm -hmm. up their grandparents right now. Mm -hmm. So it's the Willie Lynch in full fucking effect. Whenever we see one of us accomplish something, we hate them and try mm -hmm. to bring them down. Yep. The Kanye effect, the yeah. Kyrie effect that we having right now. Right. You know what I mean? Everybody can't wait to pull somebody, pull somebody down. down bro. But niggas <laughs> don't realize how hard it is to get to the fucking exactly. top. Exactly. So like, what do you what do you think that that's attributed to, bro? Like, because if you think about it, the Willie know, Lynch, you, right? But think about this, though. But, <laughs> I said but, it. But, but, but yeah, we know it's the Willie Lynch, right. right? So I guess my question is: so if you think about it, right? Let's let's apply it to hip hop. Let's just kind of you know pinpoint it there, right? If if you start hip hop started out fun, you had the the um the Sugar Hill Gang, right? right? It was about fun. Then it went to Grandmaster Flash with the message, right? Street record, but right. a different type of street record. It was the right. message. It was about the conditions of the environment, right. right, of the community. Then you go to Ice T, right? Ice T brought in some gangster shit, but he always gave you that other side. Schooly D. Yeah, Schooly D. Schooly D. And he always gave you the this is what it is. Yeah, we players, but, but you you'll go get to jail. the consequence. Yeah, he'll give you the bad. Yeah, the they bad give you the bad, right? Six in the morning, police at exactly. my door. Exactly. That should be the suit. He's talking about a raid. Talking about the whole thing. They coming. Or if you even remember High Rollers when he said, mm -hmm. "Yeah, you are smart as the crooks on Miami Vice," right? right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, okay, you know. So now, it. it you let me know where you think it changed. Now you go to NWA, right? NWA was the first people to make the gangster shit first person. See, before it was about we're just reporting. We just showing the saying conditions. What's the conditions. conditions just like NWA Melly was Mel. like, no, nigga, I'm a I'm, gangster. <laughs> right. I got the 12 right, gauge. Right. I'm doing this. Now, it's fair to say when they came off tape, you know, in media, it was more toned down it was more no this is just what's going on in the hood right right and then when you and i when we come in the 90s it's whoever could say the flies gangster shit on tape right? right but then toward the mid 90s you had the emergence of you can't be a studio gangster you know it became this thing this pressure of the mid 2000s when it's when 50 came in man yeah 50, with the wangster yeah, shit the wangster yeah. shit now you yeah. can't be no wangster that right 50 came in and, and, and redirected it to being some real super hardcore gangster shit. So like you think it, it was Fifty that helped turn that, not placing blame, but where it, nah, it, 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 I think it, that's it when turned. It, I think that's when it changed. Okay, you asking me like what era did it change? Yeah. I think right around the Fifty yeah. Cent Ja Rule era. That's yeah. when a lot of beasts was going on. When the beasts was right. going on, turned it to street shit. Because it's always been beasts, you had to really but it was on record though. Right, it right. was competition. Right, but that's when you had to stand on business. Like right. niggas getting bulletproof trucks and shit, shootouts at, yeah. at, at fucking radio stations. Right. Like it's really getting heavy out there. Right. You know what I mean? So right. this is when shit start getting really crazy in hip hop. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. it's been crazy ever since far as mm -hmm. beefs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like literally like you look so, at, at Chicago, you look at um, New York right now. Right. You look at shit Atlanta right now, nigga everywhere where the hubs is at Miami, yeah. niggas is going crazy. Right. Period. Right. And it's like they live in Chicago. Right. So I'm I'm gonna give you a, a clearer or more clear. I think when Chief Keith came in, because when I talked to the, the kids from the Bay, mm -hmm. when I interviewed S O B R B E um Young T.O. Yep. And I'm like, bro, like, when did it start? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Cause I moved from the Bay. When did y'all start really turning mm -hmm. like that? He said, Chief Keith. Mm. He said, we all seen Chief Keith, and then we came up with our crew, yeah. S-O-B-R-B-E, and yeah. we started doing the same shit they doing, talking about shit we did right. that night, and right. woo, woo, woo. 
And we've been rocking like that ever since. And I think that Chief Keith rephrased the 50 cent. I think Chief Keith changed the game. Yeah, okay. And okay. I think everybody is doing some Chief Keith shit right now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? On steroids. So let me ask you. So, I mean, what do you think, what, what do you think we could do to fix it, to turn the tide? I think, um, I don't want to like hate on nobody money, but I don't think the record label should be promoting that shit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Putting that shit on the radio. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Period. I don't think it should be promoted. You know, mm -hmm. the more violence is promoted, you talking about people getting drilled and killed and smoking motherfuckers on raps that died. Mm -hmm. You know, it's on the radio and in mm -hmm. the club, man. That could make somebody feel some type of way. It's yeah. like really rubbing it in their face. Yeah. It's bad enough that they people died, got right. killed. Now you got people pissing on graves and shit and videos that the companies is promoting and putting out. Yeah, yeah. I think if niggas is having street beef, man, the company shouldn't get behind it. Mm -hmm. you that's why I was about to ask you specify that's it. exactly. You know what, what I mean? Saying. If they got yeah. street beef, the yeah. company shouldn't get behind it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I think. If, if yeah. they if they pump the brakes on promoting that shit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, I don't think it'll be so many, you know what I mean, so mm -hmm. favored or so uh much of a trend. So because so, killing niggas is a trend right now. Right, right. You know? So let me ask you, do you just so I mean, it's safe to say it's not just the genre of rap, right? It ain't just rap, it's just niggas, period. Niggas is doing this shit in the street anyway. So even when you go past but the music- But that don't music, make it right. No, I know, but I'm asking, don't make what do you think? Right. No, I'm saying, what do you think could fix the, the root of it? Cause it's starting from the street and they just putting it on tape. The root of it is in the street. You know so what the I'm root, saying? The root comes from us, me and your generation. Mm -hmm. We fumbled the fucking ball, bro. You think so? Absolutely, because so? our OGs went to jail. You know yep. what I mean? I got killed, the niggas that gave us the game, the niggas yep. that had the code. Right. We, you know, became successful in other areas. We mm -hmm. didn't go back to the neighborhood. We left the neighborhood, never came back, never schooled the youth. They was there to figure the shit out by themselves. Mm -hmm. So you trying to, and they ain't got no parents because of course, you know, they locked up or, mm -hmm. you know, shot up somewhere, whatever. Mm -hmm. So they ain't had no parents. They ain't had no OGs because we all moved out the hood and never came back. We didn't get a game to them. So now they studying hip hop, you know, that mm -hmm. that's their that's, that's their father. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then also the young boys that's on the street with them. You know what I mean? They yeah. have no clue about the street shit. Right. They're raising them also. So now you got a generation that don't got the game, that got don't got the code, that don't got the morals, that don't know how to move, figuring it out on their own. And mm -hmm. this is what we got right now. Mm -hmm. We didn't give the game. We all became successful, bro. Right. Right. Like name what one nigga that, that, that was in the hood besides coming out of jail 50 years later and trying to be an activist, mm -hmm. but it's too late, they're grown already. Right. Like right when they was in there, you know what I mean? Right. Growing up ages, we were doing a lot of hip hopping and mm -hmm. doing other shit instead of really paying attention to the neighborhood and making sure these kids grew up. Like the OGs, the, the, the kingpins that had all the money, right? These dudes made sure you know what I mean? That the talented kids, the football players, the basketball players, the artists, you know what I mean? All the talented motherfuckers, they fund them. They mm -hmm. paying for Pop Warner, they paying for Little League Baseball, they paying for the shit, college, whatever it took, they paid for them to make sure they was in position. We didn't even do that, bro. Mm -hmm. We didn't come back and start funding their dreams. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like our OGs with money did. Mm -hmm. You know, they sold crack, that's wrong, but they came back and gave back to the hood. Mm -hmm. People couldn't pay their bills. They came back and helped these mothers pay their bills. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When, when they couldn't pay their bills, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. We're doing turkey drives and giving out backpack. A backpack can't pay your bill. A turkey can't pay your fucking mm -hmm. bill. So all the shit that the OGs was doing back in the day is not being reciprocated. Now, I mean, back when we, you know, had the ball. Mm -hmm. So I think we dropped the ball, bro. That's why people pay attention to podcasts like yours, mm -hmm. mine, because now we can season the youngsters. Right. They ain't got to look at a rapper. They can really mm -hmm. get the game from us now. That's another reason why I do this podcast shit, yeah, to give the sure. youngsters game, because mm -hmm. I know I fucked up. I moved out the Ville. Mm -hmm. I wasn't hanging out there on the corner lacing mm -hmm. their shoes like I should have been. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But now I could try to, you know, do it. Right now, through yeah. this podcast shit and really being intimate yeah. talking and giving them game, you know what I mean? Yeah. That I learned. You so know let what me mean? let me ask you this, and that's a great point, bro. That's a great point. That you, you don't think home. that we dropped the ball? Um, I agree with you to an extent. Yeah, to an extent. But but then too, I mean, you have to because I've tried to be accessible and 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 active with the motherfuckers back, you know, anywhere, but mainly back in my hometown, right. Kansas City, Missouri. You know what I mean? And you know, there's a different mentality with the Generation Z, you know what I'm saying, Generation Y and Millennials. You know, sometimes it's hard to get in the game. Sometimes they, like you said earlier, you know, it's this 
automatic thing where you oh this old, old nigga old you out of touch you don't to you. I don't gotta yeah. listen to you so sometimes you broke yeah sometimes to you. it's 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 very hard to try to reach them you know because I've tried I, you know and I still do it's a few that you can touch you know what I'm saying but um it's such a layered issue do you think that we still suffer from the effects of uh the crack air absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely like people like that three strike law mm -hmm. alone yep. fucked us over real shit I mean, let alone the drugs you real know what i mean shit. let alone it took out the panthers i think that's part that we ain't you know we I mean? ain't talking about that's like, part of, that's a big part of it bro because it fragmented the family even more so you know with mandatory minimums you know right, what i mean where like right. you said the ogs you know the uncles the daddies wasn't there you know what i'm and saying then look at all of our leaders mm -hmm. all of our uh, black leaders that was really giving us that knowledge is there too martin mm -hmm. luther king dead malcolm x is dead mm -hmm. you know uh muhammad ali tried to speak up he's out of here yeah you know what yeah. i mean like come on the people who try to speak up for us is really out of here that right. like the ones that really gave us the game all we have is the minister of farrakhan we need to yeah. protect him right you know right. what i mean because he still had a game he still could give us the knowledge mm -hmm. the, the code mm -hmm. you know what i mean how to move as a man right you know what i mean in america and um, that that code is missing. That yeah. game is missing. You know what I mean? They wiping out all the people <clears throat> with that game and try to bring it together with the right. unity. Mm -hmm. It's strength in numbers, man. Mm -hmm. It's strength in everybody moving in one direction, bro. Right. Right. You know what I mean? That was what what was so powerful about. You know what I mean? The Panthers mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? Uh, the NOI. You right. know what I mean? Because there's a unit together on one mission. That you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And people consider that dangerous. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But other groups, you know, and races could be all together on one code. And mm -hmm. we got a Chinatown and every ma major, mm -hmm. you know, metropolis in America. Mm -hmm. But once you try to, you know what I mean? Say, hey, I want a little Africa somewhere, a little Haiti right. somewhere, a little this, that, and that. Or try to say, hey, we want to do our own distribution mm -hmm. company, or we want to do this by ourselves. You know, shit start getting fishy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when we try to do the things they do, mm -hmm. we get shut down, our water get cut off. So it's like, we try. You know what I mean? We try to, try to, um, try to, you know, fuck yeah. with the kids. The kids don't listen to us. Yeah, yeah. Your kids not listen to, if the kids ain't listen to the parents, why would they listen to you? No, real shit. Like, Real come shit. on, man. So, Period. so hmm, that's that's an interesting perspective. That's interesting. So, let me ask you this. Well, hmm, yeah, it's it's so it's so multi layered. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we could go on with yeah, this one, but yeah, I you think can... I think that I think it starts at home, bro. Yeah, like if you yeah. if you raise a certain way, man, you ain't gonna be doing clown shit, right. bro. Right, you, you know better. Let me, yeah, and that's you what know, I was about to say. If you got both parents in the house, man, you gotta mm -hmm. have the father or fuck it, the mm -hmm. uncle. Right, you know what I mean? The granddad. Right, it's it's other people, the cousin. You but know let what me mean? say it's this other, though, the brother. It's at, other people that could give you the game. Yeah, you know what I mean. At it what point? But let me ask you this: At what point? I learned do, a lot from my uncles. <clears throat> at what my point cousins, do we? They raised me too. My aunties, my granny, everybody raised me. Yeah. It wasn't just my mother and yeah. my father. It yeah. takes a village. Take a village. Yeah, exactly. So everybody got to help right. with this, and that's another thing that's not going on. Yeah, yeah. you know. So, I think he's saying something though that you've talked about before, which is even when we talk about gang culture, whatever mm -hmm. is structure. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. like the structure, the even structure. In, even in LA gangs, Chicago gangs, it was structured in the mm -hmm. '90s a certain way. Because yep. you know, I grew up in Sacramento and it was gang banging. I'm not a I'm not a gang member, but you had BGs, YGs, you had OGs from the neighborhood. Like there was an order to mm -hmm. to it, and I don't really feel like that order is there. And it was a motherfucking discipline. Mm -hmm. Like you did something out of pocket that put the hood in danger, man. You lucky you don't get killed, right? Because you got discipline. You doing get some yo shit. in yeah. front of I got shot. That's what I'm I saying. Just, yeah, I know. Yeah, they yeah. get this from taking a nigga car. I right. didn't put the hood in danger. Right. A nigga put the hood in danger. Nigga, you getting shot. You mm -hmm. getting beat up like, you know what I mean? There mm -hmm. used to be them, them type of DPs going on and yeah. you knew better. Like, nah, I ain't doing right. that shit no more. Right. But motherfuckers do it and ain't no but now it's like the wild wild west it's, it's like the youngsters have gotten more vicious you know it's like right. the more destructive and vicious they could be you know the more it's celebrated okay. you know what i'm saying question Let, for you yeah <clears throat> excuse me what is our future bro the, the children are the future they, mm -hmm. they got to grow up and they yeah. having kids that's just just as wild as them you right. got right i ain't gonna say artist names but you got little kids Wildin', yeah. talking wild shit, yep. wild shit, like yep. like a grown up. Yeah, they yeah. little, real shit. They little, yeah. They about to grow up too. <clears throat> yeah, you see, uh, uh, Ti son, you know, right. they're, they're growing up. Right, you know what I mean. Right. What is the future for Black America with these kids growing up? Because yeah. we we gonna you know soon leave this motherfucker, yeah. and it's yeah. just gonna be them. Yeah. What is gonna be left if we don't change this shit now? 
You know, that's man, that's such a, a layer. It's a layered quest. All this shit is layered. But to, on, but like, this the thing, bro. What's our but this the thing, though. Like? So so this is on one hand, right? On one hand. So if you think about it, a our lot president of these gonna some, have tattoos. Some, hold on. Man. Some of these look, look well, let, me say, let me say this. Forty. The president gonna have <laughs> tattoos on his face, nigga. For real. He might. He might you I'm know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, it's um, gonna happen. <laughs> but listen, so so on one hand, right? If you look at the little niggas, the little wildcats. To some extent, they really the wild niggas that we used to be, right? The difference is, is because of social to media. An extent. Yeah, to an extent. Right. Um, social media. You see what I'm saying? Everything is shown. See, we made our mistakes privately. You know what I'm saying? The dumb shit we did didn't get broadcast. We was we didn't we probably would have been broadcasting it, but we 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 didn't have the technology, right? So at some point, I think that it's it just comes back to accountability, bro. At some point, we have to correct our own shit. I think so. So let me say this. Let me make this point. It's just like with gun with with gun control, right? I liken it to gun control. You can put up all the laws you want, all the statues, whatever you want with guns. You know, like I know, we still gonna get that shit, right? So, but what's the problem with America? We're a gun culture. So until you change the hearts and the minds of us. That all the laws ain't gonna fix it. It's changing the hearts and the minds of the people. You know what I'm saying? Because the guns, other countries got guns, but they don't have the level of violence that we have because we're a gun culture. So going to our people, going to our culture, man, it starts with just us changing our mentality. And I and I say that from a first person stance because I had to do my work too. You feel me? That same Willie Lynch shit you talking about, I had it too, and still have it to an extent you know i have to struggle and i have to modulate my shit too right so you know when i first moved to la i was still on my kansas city shit 20 years ago i'm still got braids i'm still low-key on my you know half a gangbanger shit right? right i remember i lived in brentwood speaking of that are you a gangbanger no i've never been a gangbanger you show how i'm gonna circle back to that no 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 i'm gonna circle back to that i'm gonna circle back to that he said half he so, said half <laughs> so so i was looking at another black dude right square cat right, right. i'm looking at him bro and I, in my head, man, I'm I'm chopping this nigga down. Man, look at this whole ass nigga. Right. I don't even know this dude. And in my mind, he every he all kind of whole ass niggas, bitch ass niggas. And I and I and I thought I said, damn, why am I doing that? I don't even know this dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to check yourself. I had to check myself, right? So I started peeling back them layers and doing my work, you know. And so instead of mean mugging niggas and you know sizing niggas up, I start speaking, nodding my head. What's up, brother? You know right, what I mean? Right. Right. So. And we got to start the energy you got the back, energy though, right. right but i had to mature you know what i mean and i had to do my work so as a culture we got to do our work yeah, we no matter work on ourselves, you know man. what i'm saying like we, we got to start with ourselves. our attitude because a lot of this little shit when niggas be getting lined up and shit it be from little petty shit right it be from oh that nigga he said this or this nigga said this to a broad or, or they think they that oh, nigga. Woo, and, woo, woo. and we gonna show you it you know we deal with each other so heavy handedly you know what i'm saying and we don't have we don't see the 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 value in each other we don't see the humanity in each other and this is one thing i discovered about myself too once i matured and i start like I liked me, I thought highly of myself, but I'm not sure that I actually loved me for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But once I matured and I really started caring about me, I started making different decisions and I started well, I, seeing I'm glad shit you differently. Said that because as a youth, you 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 right. wilding. You, you, you don't, wilding. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have understand nothing that. to lose. You don't have no kids. Right. You ain't got no right. property. Right. You ain't got no and see, I did responsibilities. Have kids. I did oh, have okay, kids, cool. but even but, but me I'm, as a teenager when yeah. I was wild, I had no responsibility. Yeah. I'm, like I got right. nothing to lose. Right. Like I'm a motherfucking kamikaze, right. ready to go. Send me, I'm doing it. Right. I ain't got shit to lose. I'm a juvenile. I ain't getting no time. Right. Yeah, let's do it. Right. You know what I mean? Period. So yeah. So it, it starts with the hearts and the minds. I think a change of 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 mentality. It starts with mentality. And then once your mentality changes, you know, like I know, even success, all that shit starts from the mind, right? Whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, either way, you're right. You know what I'm saying? So once we fix the mentality, we say, okay, now you put yourself in a position to win. You got the internet. So now you have access to the information. You have access to how to do loans, how to get in school, how to get a trade. It's so much information out there. Right. You know what I mean? But if your mentality is in bondage and you stuck in a, you know, fuck nigga, we step on niggas. I don't right. give a fuck about that nigga. We scamming. We ain't going to get no loan for no business. We going to scam. We going to, you know what I'm saying? So we I, just got to, to answer your question, bro, we just got to work on us. We got to work on too, our hearts and our minds. But I think all the opportunities that the kids had back in the day aren't there. Where's the boys club? Where's the girls club? Mm -hmm. Where's the YMCA? 
You know I mean, they mean? don't even go outside no more. They own but iPads if you had and phones that, and shit. If you had a motherfucking <laughs> right. boys club, a girls girl that had the right. PS5, that had the yeah. new Xbox, whatever, that yeah. had nigga pool, that had mm -hmm. swimming, that had basketball courts, mm -hmm. that had computer uh, coding class up in mm -hmm. there, that had uh, all types of other other co mm -hmm. other shit that you could do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Teaching you how to, you know what I mean? All that shit, shit is whatever. just online now, though. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers but can take online kids, classes and shit. Why they in the streets? Because they got nowhere to hang out no more, man. Mm -hmm. Like it's barely like people barely doing pop one or football and that's, shit. That's barely true. because yeah. you know what I mean. That shit yeah. was mandatory. No, you need to be playing pop one or football. You playing basketball yeah, play or you playing baseball. And I did Literally, gymnastics, right? Nigga. And all of that. <laughs> yeah. You doing it all? It's mando. Yeah. You doing karate classes, take karate too. All yeah. that shit, right? <laughs> you had activities. Yeah. These yeah. kids, we had skate rings and shit. We go like what the. Kids it's got it's to out do. there though, bro. It's out there. It's just that. It, I mean, I feel I feel like what you guys are saying. It still come back to the parents though, because it's got to yeah. be the parent. It's so yeah. easy now, and yeah. I got two young kids. It's so easy now to put some shit in front of them and just yeah. walk away and go do your thing versus yeah. taking them That's to real. that football or taking them to that yeah. basketball or you know what I mean. Like, right? right. It, you still got you still got to take drag it back to the adults who are raising these Spending children. Time. Yeah, you got to be involved. Yeah, like the kids involved. ain't gonna just That's walk real. to the raise park. themselves. Yeah, you know. Yeah, no, that's real. But that's a great point, though. That's a great point, young. I, I mean, think kids a, ain't, yeah. I think, like, as at a young age, they taught to be old. Right. You know, kids ain't able to be a kid nowadays. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, they, they're in grown man's shoes that's at real. the age of 11. You know what I mean? But 12, you know why some of that is? I mean? That's because some of the parents, they trying to be their kids' <coughs> friends. No. You know? so, no, you do have these parents. women to, yeah. are trying to have their kids be their new man. You know what I mean? It's weird mean? like that. Like, the man of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's the father, right, you know what I mean? Right. Like the, the woman, like some of the, the mothers are, are letting that happen yeah. to where, nah, this is the man of the house. He's yeah. making the money, he in the streets doing right. this. Yes, instead I've of the seen father. that firsthand. Yeah. I've seen yeah. that firsthand. And whatever this, he's doing in the streets, if it comes yeah. to executing yep. somebody, yep. the mama's behind it because he's paying all the bills and he's the man of the house now. Yeah, so, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, it happens like that to where some of the baby mothers is, is mm -hmm. really saluting this shit. Yeah. And not really like trying yeah. to, you know, combat the shit or whatever. Yeah. You know, so, so you, got, think, you guys said something interesting though that we didn't circle back to because you said Kanye and Kyrie for a minute, and y'all been talking about your own culture, but them two have been talking about culture in general, and and mm -hmm. and back to what you said as, as far as labels not promoting mm -hmm. th violence. this violence and shit. Mm -hmm. like, I think okay, I think the messaging might be off of what they're saying, is, but gangster rap. But yeah, I'm yeah. talking about beef, like right. And then yes, Leo yes. Cohen's, you know what I mean, who was a great man, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're not gonna, no disrespect towards him. Mm -hmm. This is a man that's about his money. Mm -hmm. So he was asked a question on The Breakfast Club, you know what I mean? Charlemagne was like, why even put out the music that talk about sipping syrup and sipping mm -hmm. lean and doing dope and all that? He was like, you know what, Charlemagne? I have two choices, <laughs> talent or beef. I choose talent. <laughs> and he's like, well, yeah. I mean, what the hell? Like, okay, right. talent. He's like, dude, I have kids. I still have to pay bills. I have my kids are in college. Wow. Like, he, he broke it down. Yeah. Like, he really came to fruition. I still mm -hmm. have kids in college. I have to pay my bills. Right. So this is why I do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I have to pay my bills. So it comes. You know what with, I mean? I have to. <clears throat> that's take, real shit. Yeah. Right. I have but family. but, I have it, a, but a it comes lineage, back to you know? us, though, bro. It comes back to accountability because he can't. He can only sell what we give him. You know what I'm saying? He can only sell what we give him. So if we give him, you see what I'm saying? We create the supply and the demand. Bro, I'm just saying, that shit ain't gonna fly. It ain't gonna go off the shelves, my nigga. Mm -hmm. The temperature right now is a hatred. It's a real demonic energy going around real shit. across the world. Real it's shit. not just black people. Yeah. White person will see a motherfucker dying and pull out their phone just mm -hmm. like people did on the takeoff mm -hmm. situation instead of calling the fucking police exactly. and say world star just like a black person yep. would. Yep. So. We don't, we, we're so immune right now to mm -hmm. having feelings. Like we, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We see the most horrific shit and don't care. I mean, you know world I mean? star come up yeah. every day with five yeah, people getting their head blown off. Filming. World star, yeah. world star, yeah. instead of really like trying to de-escalate, yeah. break it Real up. Shit. You know what I mean? A uh, uh, CPR, get, yeah. try to save a motherfucker, you on yeah. your phone. So yeah. everybody's detached and it's yeah. all about roasting somebody, yeah. clowning, hating yeah. motherfuckers. That's the shit that get the Hell most yeah. views. Real shit. The most, and then yep. drilling and yep. killing and smoking on yep. somebody and pissing on their grave. Yep. That's the move. So if you come with some positive yep. ass shit, you change it all pot, it ain't gonna fly because it's already the vibe across yeah. the whole shit. Yeah. Even on Twitter, even on Facebook, yep. even on like social media, that's the vibe, shitting yep. on niggas, yep. shitting on everybody, yep. all races, not just white 
and black, all races, right. Mexicans, Asians, they all shitting on each other. They're all roasting Not to each the other, degree that we do, though. Not to the degree that black we folks do. We all go it. hard, bro. No, I ain't we seen it. We all go hard, bro. I ain't bro. seen it, bro. I ain't seen it. I ain't seen no white entertainers. I ain't seen no white influential people. I'm talking people. about you ain't well, seen maybe not. Not. one white motherfucker in a comment that says some, some disrespectful to their artists, like some type of roast shit. Like, oh, fuck yeah. you. You fell off. Oh, fuck you. Woo, woo, woo. Go look at the Sauce Waka post. Which right? one? What he said about, I wish okay. I was with me, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, You see how many motherfucking comments? Yeah. So you telling me now, one white person was in, that, in there talking, hey, man, whatever they were but saying. But people ain't listening to him. They listen to Sauce Walker. But I'm talking I'm about all the comments. No, I understand the comments. So, yeah, but I'm what about I, the comments. But, but he wouldn't have shit it was to comment people going on. Hard. No, I understand. It but... was people going hard on jazz. Yeah, yeah. Like jazz right, was right, there. Right, right, All them right. comments shitting yeah, on yeah. jazz. Yeah. And he wasn't even there. No, I got it. So I boom, you had different races. That's how hard it is. Nobody right. having compassion. But they like, don't have yo. the voice though. I'm saying we have the voice and the in the influence. I and know we that. use it to fuck over each other. And That's then what when I'm it saying. comes to music, bro, the kids want that shit. That's their vibe. No, bro. bro. That's you, why I'm saying you hard got in nine mind. Year bro. Olds, That's why I'm eight saying hard in mind, bro. Seven year olds yeah. singing this shit word for word. It's, it's every, sick, bro. It's, every it's, little it's, Dirk it's rhyme, every Chief Keith rhyme. Every motherfucking uh, uh, NBA young boy, yeah. they saying that shit word for word. Yeah. Kids, yeah. five year olds, right, right. That's the wave, bro. Yeah, the the females got the way to where it's about being a hoe, a being prostitute, a hoe, yeah. hoeing up, all or all about or, your money, all yeah, about the money. You gonna do for it? Yeah. So boom, it's about that. So it's a wave. Even females on that yeah. wave. Like yeah. I'm glad I'm married, bro. Yeah. I got homies that's still out there in the street trying right. to date, and it's right. ugly. They can't trust them. <laughs> Real shit. They're they robbing them up, like they try to they fall asleep and they stole they everything when up. they woke up. Yeah. Yeah. This is the broad they've been dating for months. Like so, they know this. Like, come on. So, man. do you think like back in the day, bro? It's a lack of it's a lack of uh, balance too. Because like you said, back in the day, we had NWA, we had Ice T, we had Schooly D, but we had Eric B. Rakim, we had X Clan, we had we Puff. still we got it. We got Kendrick Lamar. We can we count got on J. one Cole. hand, bro. One hand, <laughs> we my got nigga. See, go ahead, go ahead, keep counting. We got Eminem. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We got my nigga from Chicago that wear the hats. What's my nigga name? Which one? That wear the hats with the three on it. Oh, uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chance, uh, Chance, Chance. Chance you got Chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lu Lupe, maybe. Lupe, but they haven't really. Lupe, been doing no, that. Ain't Lupe ain't talking. Lupe ain't shit. Ain't really does a thousand shit. years, bro. Yeah, he was on the positive got, shit though. We got uh 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 Killer Mike and oh boy, what they call? I mean, Killer Mike is more. He's I'll say he's older than Lupe, now. but no, I'm just he's saying. rapping right now, though. But that's true. Him yeah, and him, is. yeah, him he and is. the dude Mad Lib, what, what they got going? What yeah, but Killer called? Mike is on is on what's his face TV oh, show. Oh, Run the Jewels, he's doing Run the Jewels. Yeah. They yeah. on some real political shit. Yeah, on they shit. Okay, they we have five then. Fuck it, I give you five. <laughs> How many drill gangster motherfuckers we got? A trillion, million, a trillion. trillion. <laughs> and they dominating the billboard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why everybody's rapping like that because yeah. it's a wave. That's why everybody- But we created you got the demand for it, though. in New York drilling. You yeah. got niggas yeah. overseas. The Germany is creating a sound right now. Right, right. Yeah, all the UK creating mm -hmm. a sound that 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 uh that sound that, that Pop Smoke had. That, yeah. That's the sound for New York now. Yeah. And that's from overseas, bro. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's influenced by this, not just Americans, yeah. bro. This yeah. shit is taking over the world, bro. So the world is just decadent, just fucked up, bro. Yeah, the, the world, world is, is on this. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> not just not just America. So Speaking of the world, we transition, bro. Let's segue yeah, yeah. into man. We ain't Jesus, man. We can't save everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. We can't. We can just worry about our own. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's real. It, bro. Everybody gotta gotta do their part. Um, Kanye, he been trending, bro. You know what okay. I'm saying? He's been super Prayers trending. Prayers for Kanye too, Yeah, man. yeah. Shout out protect to Kanye. Protect that brother, man. Um, he needs protection. What are your like thoughts? Farrakhan. What are your thoughts on Kanye and what he said? And, and you know, um, do you think what he said was hate speech? Or do you think he was telling the truth? And this is what the consensus of the masses are battling with. Well, the thing is, um, I don't think it was hate speech because he didn't wish no violence on mm -hmm. them. You know he called I mean? for DEFCON 3. Defcon three is defense. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, I'm prepared, you know, mm -hmm. like for whatever, you know. what mm -hmm. I mean, period. That's a defensive tactic. So, Defcon three, that's a defense. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you really look that up, that ain't no threat. Like, uh, like, okay, we're gonna drop a nuke bomb on them or something. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, we we experienced this with with the Farrakhan situation. Mm -hmm. We experienced experienced this with Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? That they don't care care about us. Yeah. Like we didn't had these situations to where it's forbidden. You know what I mean? To even say that word, you know, mm -hmm. let alone to even um, to have knowledge about self 
or knowledge about uh, Genesis chapter 10 on down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which is in everybody's Bible. You know what I mean? So it's forbidden to even speak on that. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna speak on it on the show, but everybody do your own research, man, and go mm -hmm. go to Genesis on any of your Bibles. Mm -hmm. Any version mm -hmm. is gonna have, you know, from 10 on down, you know, you're gonna see what Kanye is talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't think that what he said was wrong in, in that sense. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But far as um, blaming a whole community and a whole religion for, you know, your business practices is mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. I think he should have said the names of the persons that he had an issue with. I agree. With. Point them out. Yeah, just point yeah. them out. Yeah. You know, just like he said, all That's the names, just like yeah. he'd be dropping a Elon Musk name mm -hmm. and all these designer names and mm -hmm. shit. Hey, I was hanging with uh, Marco <laughs> Felicino yesterday and he <laughs> gave me the new Balenciaga yeah. draws. Like, you be naming all these names, name the name. Yeah. You know, and yeah. then you wouldn't have That's to right. offend the whole yeah. race, the race, whole, whole culture, culture, and the whole exactly. religion. That's yeah. what I don't agree with. But far as him saying that, you know, that mm -hmm. he's Semitic, you know what I mean? Um, it's in Genesis. You could go mm -hmm. read for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which is the same reason why Kyrie Irving posted what he posted in and, terms of the book, Hebrews to Negroes. Right. Or and with that, the Negroes to No, it's, he, Hebrews, it's to Hebrews to Negroes, Negroes yeah. man. Right. Yeah. So he posted a link. You know what yeah. I mean? He didn't say nothing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, um, whatever. I support this. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, I, I, I promote this, mm -hmm. I love this, you know what I mean? Amazing, mm -hmm. none of that shit. He just posted it. Exactly. You know what I mean? He posted the 144 though. Mm -hmm. He posted that 144. You know what I mean? Everybody know about that 144. You know what I mean? And that was the um the the the, the slaves that were traded. Mm. You know what I mean? 144,000. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. So he posted that. So it's a lot of, you know, symbolism oh, in that and okay. then it, and okay. that's the main thing, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? The whole slavery thing, and I right. just ended on that. That's okay. why a lot of people don't want, you know, knowledge to get out, <clears throat> allegedly. So, so why do you think allegedly. that, why do you think that uh, he got in so much trouble? Because um, of what that, what that, what it, what no, that- No, um, but what I'm saying, I, I, I get that part, right. but why they didn't hold uh, uh, Amazon, who Jeff, sells the Jeff book? Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, how come right. not hold them accountable? Or equally? Shaquille O'Neal, who played it in his theater. Uh-huh. You know, Shaquille was over there going hard on Kyrie, but at the same mm -hmm. time, he played this movie, a documentary in your theater. Mm -hmm. So that, like, that's a hypocritical. It is. You know what yeah. I mean? Very hypocritical. Yeah. Um, and, and could one argue that it once you see the pressure that comes from saying they, these things, right? I mean, them not holding Jeff Bezos responsible for selling it, right? Right. But then, I mean, isn't that kind of what Kanye My thing is, is saying, this, right? My thing is it, it, <laughs> bingo flamingo, but look, <laughs> My thing is this, right? They said Kyrie was promoting it, right? Right. What is Jeff Bezos doing? That's what I'm saying. He's selling it. <laughs> He's selling so, it. That, that's the ultimate promotion. Right. He's making so, the money off of it. That's <laughs> right. the ultimate, right? right? So, so does that kind of that kind of like brings it all full circle of what the on. argument is. The right? argument is we can't be enlightened, mm -hmm. bro. So let me it's say this. It's forbidden so for let me us say this. to know about our history, bro. So is it so that's let me it in let America? Me ask you, not ask. everywhere else. Right. In America, right. they want us to be docile. They just want us to be black. Right. right. They don't want us to be Right. Attached to anything. Once right. you attach to something, now you get rights. Right. Now you get certain benefits. Now right. you get certain money. Uh -huh. Now you get certain, you know, yeah. privileges. Right, right. So once you, you know, uh -huh. start claiming certain shit, mm -hmm. now you're part of it. So mm -hmm. they don't want you to know that you was or are or maybe or allegedly or yeah. however yeah. it may be. I don't know. This is what people are saying. Let I me... don't know. But our history, period, they don't want us to fucking know it. Yeah. Okay, we could go to school and learn Spanish. We can't go to school and learn Swahili right. in junior high school. Or right. So we don't get to know our knowledge, bro, exactly. and our history, bro, yeah. period. And when we get to learn it and once, once people start speaking on our history, it's forbidden, bro. Mm -hmm. They only want to put out movies when you were a slave, bro. Mm -hmm. How many slave movies come out every two years, bro? We get a new slave, they just keep on being, you're a slave, you're a slave, you're a slave, you're a slave, you're a slave. Mm -hmm. But you're more than that. You can't talk about Egypt without saying us. Right, right. You can't talk about none of that without including us. Mm -hmm. You can't say hieroglyphics and take credit for all of that and not include, you can't have that on your dollar bill. Mm -hmm. And not, where is that located, man? Mm -hmm. What land is that? Right. Like, come on, man, like, fuck it. Everybody's light out there. Yeah. 
right? Fuck mm -hmm. it, they're light. And they've been light since from the beginning, man. Mm -hmm. And it was no dark people out there. Fuck it, let's go what they saying. Yeah. You know, Queen, uh, uh, fucking Elizabeth Taylor, she was, uh, uh, when they had to play uh, Cleopatra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she, she's Cleopatra, fuck right. it. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right, right. Like, come on, man. I mean, like, shit, The Last Samurai was white too. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, but let me ask you this, yo. So do you think that it's, it's, it's racism or do you think it's placism? It's racism or is it stay in your place? Um, I think it's placism. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. stay in your place, you know what I mean? Stay docile, stay, you know, doing all this killing and drilling, not knowing who you really are, mm -hmm. not knowing your potential, not knowing that, um, you know, what Ice Cube did, mm -hmm. you all could do it. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that big three, mm -hmm. it took a rapper to do it. Yeah. How many billionaire ball players we got that ain't even yeah. try to and do they it? They trying to shut him down. Yeah. Nah, he's he's good to go. Mm -hmm. He's good to go. Fuck. What, what, what do you think about uh LeBron? But they could they could all do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and it's it's people that's like you say placement. They stay in yeah. their place because they think that they're gonna be ridiculed or mm -hmm. think their resources gonna be snatched from them like they doing to the brother Kanye, like yeah. they doing to Kyrie. All mm -hmm. your resources, Nike leaving, Adidas mm -hmm. leaving, this that and the third, just by you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, everybody's afraid to lose what they got, but if you already got a lot, what the fuck are you afraid to right, lose, bro? Right, right. That's why I'm asking. So now, LeBron, you think him speaking out um, against Kyrie, um, you think that's him being afraid to to lose? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Shaquille O'Neal, mm -hmm. Charles Barkley. That's afraid to lose. Mm -hmm. Period. That that they want to keep what they got. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why you know. Ice Cube doing it, and not a LeBron, not a Jordan, not a mm -hmm. the dudes who making all the money in this shit. It, it takes a, a rapper to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, a lot of people are afraid. Okay, let's talk about our rap buddies. Mm -hmm. You know, where's Kanye buddies? This only Dame Das is the only one that spoke out. Mm -hmm. And consequence, mm -hmm. you know, Kanye done made a lot of people millionaires. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people, include Jay Z, because That's he right. was signed to Rockefeller. He made money off. All them Kanye albums that came out, why Jay silent? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a lot of people that's silent over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and it's a <clears> shame. Do you feel like Jay Z abandoned him? Like he turned his back on him? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Why Dame Jazz could speak on it and say, mm -hmm. hey, man, you know, I don't agree with everything Kanye do. We just need right. to talk to him. Why Jay couldn't say that? Right. He ain't got to say, hey, I agree with him. Uh, whoop, whoop, he's wrong. It's right. like, you know, Kanye be wilding out, but that's my brother. I'm going to holler at him. Right. This one of those will be great. Right. You know what I mean? To show yeah, that you got shit. his back, my nigga. You know so what I mean? So do you think so, that you think that Jay Z is selling out for the for the money? Um, I ain't gonna put all that together. I say yeah. he being silent because he wanna keep his shit. Yeah. You know, well, keep that's his selling partner, out for the money. That's what I'm saying. That's that, well, what I'm saying. Everybody's selling out for the money yeah. then. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. doing their uncle, um, they they house nigga shit. It's the mm -hmm. house nigga and the field nigga shit. Mm -hmm. And and live action. But let me ask you though, but then when you have someone like Dame Dash who is a hundred percent uh, independent, right. you know what I mean? Or somebody like a Master P who they use their own resources where right. they can't be controlled. There aren't these partners, you know what I'm saying, right. that they have to defer to. Um, I mean, do you think you that that's the freedom. solution? Yeah. yeah. Do you think, think that we we just got to be more self-empowerment? I think, so, I think let's let's get back to Kanye. I'm going to mm -hmm. answer that question too, but all in one. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to Kanye. Mm -hmm. I think Kanye got tired of it, got fed up, and he mm -hmm. purposely did this. Mm -hmm. And he knew if he said that, that all these people would shut him down. You know, I'm tired of Adidas. Adidas taking my, my designs. They taking my motherfucking uh, designers. He's you been know, mad they, for a while they, they about take that, it. Yeah. I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here. I'm stuck in a contract. Oh, let me say some wild shit. Mm -hmm. Now they gotta drop me. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom. Kanye wins because Adidas loses two billion after this. Yeah. And risks of losing two billion. And they're at risk of being bankrupt and going out of business. If you've been to the stores lately, Adidas are on sale for half off, mm. literally. Like you got shell toes on sale for $35, $30, shell toes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got I think off. it fucked up they stock too. I think they Man, they stock up. went mm -hmm. down too, mm -hmm. you know? So look what he did. He did a super, mm -hmm. that's a power move. Mm -hmm. You think they did something to him. Mm -hmm. he, he synced they battleship. Mm -hmm. That's strategic. They probably be out of business within the next five years, four or five years. Also, they wasn't hot before he came there. Before he came, I mean, that's the that's the truth. That's mm -hmm. the truth. They were hot in the eighties. Then they then it's been dead because of other rappers. Yes, Run DMC absolutely. Saved Run DMC, Run DMC they had saved him the first time. Yeah, now absolutely. Kanye saved him this time. Now you mm -hmm. kick Kanye out the door, man. Good luck, Adidas. 
You know, and I think that another thing, man, if we really support our people, man, where the black balls at? Where the boycotts at? Mm -hmm. You know, if they if they say fuck Kanye, then fuck Adidas. Yeah. If they say fuck Kanye, fuck Balenciaga. Right. You know, if they say fuck Kyrie, fuck the NBA. I'm not looking at that shit this year. Right. Period. Right. I don't give a fuck about the NBA mm -hmm. because nobody, now it's it's the plantation. It's the mm -hmm. shut up and dribble. We saw yeah. it with Kaepernick. Nobody yeah. did yeah, that. Nobody. Fuck it, man. Kaepernick made more money off the team, out the NFL, than he made on the NFL. So, but he's I'm saying winning. no one, no, everybody got so scared that the NFL never lost. Check this out, never man. Never lost. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say one, one word, one last name, Marbury. Oh, Kyrie could go to China and be do the same Marbury shit and be a super megastar, have statues around China mm -hmm. about. America ain't the last stop, nigga. Fuck Real it. Shit. I go play in China, nigga. Real shit. I go to the big three, be a coach, nigga. But partner up with the big three. Yeah. Matter of fact, nigga, me and Ice Cube and Kanye, we all gonna partner up on this. Mm -hmm. He could do so much other shit. Mm -hmm. Period. Marbury is Jordan out there. Mm -hmm. They have statues of this man out there, right? Mm -hmm. Did it yeah. stop him? Hell no. Nah. Right. Man, Kyrie got action, man. So what you think about that? Do you think that Kanye could commandeer a, a team like that? Do you think that like other influential, wealthy black folks would team up with him or you think they'd be scared? Let me tell you this, bro. Everybody gonna team back up with him. Mm -hmm. I seen this movie before, Nick Cannon, right? Mm -hmm. He did all the things with uh, uh, Professor Griff, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, right? Mm -hmm. Shut him down, took everything, took mm -hmm. wilding out, took mm -hmm. dancing with the, with the stars, singing, whatever he got going, right? Mm -hmm. Took all that shit, right? Had him go to, you know what I mean? Go mm -hmm. learn some lessons or whatever. Mm -hmm. Year later, got it all back. Mm -hmm. They couldn't do wilding out without right. him. They, they, fuck it, we gotta give it back to him. Right. The, the celebrity un, unmasked singer, whatever that is, mm -hmm. they can't do it without them. It, it's just stale. Let's get them back in there. Mm -hmm. So the smoke is right now. Mm -hmm. Once the smoke clear, Kanye gonna be back on top just like Nick, man. We've seen this movie before. I don't know why we make it so much of a big deal. Mm -hmm. Kanye got way more money than Nick Cannon. And if Nick Cannon was able to hold on, Kanye could hold on. Mm -hmm. Kyrie could hold on too. That's why he retired. He said, mm -hmm. fuck him. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. Kyrie retired. Yeah, he said he ain't finna do all, yeah. none of that bullshit. I'm not doing none of that. I got yeah. all the money I can make. Nets is bullshit anyway right now. We ain't getting no <laughs> ring. Fuck what I'm doing this shit for. Yeah, yeah. You know? Nah, that's that's real shit, yuck. That's good shit. So, um, so segue in, bro. You know, the last time you came, man, you know, um, at least when you did this show at the, at the time that we did it, you and your brother, you know, uh, so coming to, you know, I, like I said, we got to fix our minds our heart, and our hearts in the motherfucking hip hop, right? So when you talk about <laughs> grace, mercy, and forgiveness, you yes, and nigga. your brother, you know what I'm saying? Numbskull from, yes. the, from the infamous loonies. Legendary. Yes. Legendary. Yes. Legendary, yes. legendary yes. Thank you. Thank you, loonies. Sir. Thank you, man. Um, man, y'all patched it up, bro. Y'all y'all fixed it. Yeah. I mean, I think we just came together for a show. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I think we cordial. We definitely cordial. You know, it's we came together. better than it was. For, uh, definitely better than what it was, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It, it, we could have communication without it okay. going there. You know what I mean? We seen yeah. each other in person, it wasn't no phone, it wasn't mm -hmm. no beat, nobody wanted to beat each other up, mm -hmm. you know, it was straight. So I think that's a beginning, that's yeah. a start. That's a you start. know what I mean? That's Absolutely. a start. And maybe later on we'll fully work it all the way out, yeah. but it ain't all the way worked out. Okay. It's still what it was when I was on the podcast. You okay. know, we just did a show together out of respect for Soul B. Okay. You know, Soul B was yeah. having their an anniversary yeah. and you know, that's legendary. Yeah. Soul B made all of us, including yeah. you too, yeah. and P. Mm -hmm. So boom, we do the shit for Soul B. Legendary shit, it's like the loonies, mm -hmm. three times crazy, drew down, just mm -hmm. old school, you know what I mean? 90s mm -hmm. shit, right? Everybody show up in the town. I'm yeah. talking about this is the I first time I yeah. seen Little D. Okay. This the first Little Shout D been out, out for a long Lil time, D, yeah. but Little this is the first show he came to. Yeah, my show. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I, of course we do the arenas and shit with Forty and them all that, but mm -hmm. far as my show, this is mm -hmm. the first show he came to. All the players, mm -hmm. like all the OGs, was in that motherfucker. The whole Oakland was in that bitch. Mm -hmm. It was a live event, successful event. Um, some happened at the end, you know what I mean, to where it got shut down, but. Mm -hmm. All in all, it was a beautiful event, and, and yeah, me and them was cool. So it's so a start. What you know was what that mean? like, though? I mean, y'all seen each other in person. Right. What was the conversation, if you could speak on it? 
Did you did y'all have a we conversation? We already had conversations before the, even the event. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I did a couple podcasts with Soul Beat mm -hmm. on my shit, mm -hmm. you know, the where we had three times, numb mm -hmm. everybody. So we didn't have, and I got on the phone to even agree to do the event mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. So it took a lot of phone calls and yeah. interviews and shit before we even got to the show. Okay. You know what I mean? So the temperatures was cooled down, all mm -hmm. the way cooled down. Okay. You know what I mean? So it was straight. That's still my brother. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like business wise, business wise is whatever it is, mm -hmm. but that's still my brother. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Period. I'll never be mad at that dude, like to mm -hmm. where it's like detrimental. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we could agree to disagree. Right. But it don't mean like I got beef with him. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like I want to do something to him. Like right. that's my family. His his brother, his mother, the sister. Yeah. That's my family. That's my my sisters is his family. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, be peoples, bro. Like that. Yeah. I, I ain't got no hate, no, no envy. I wish him nothing but the best. Yeah. You know what I mean, That's period. Dope. That's my That's brother. Dope. And I wish hopefully one day we'll get to the bottom of this shit and mm -hmm. you know, we get back together and do, do our thing. Do you think that we'll, yeah, that's what I was finna say. You do know? you think that we'll see a Looney's album? Man, we done seen this movie, man. Me and them done did this shit a, a thousand times and mm -hmm. came back together and formed Voltron, man. So mm -hmm. it's like this, man. Um, I'm not calling nobody and you know, cause I ain't in the wrong right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So whenever he ready to come clean, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And uh, shit, chop it up, we could do that, you mm -hmm. know, straight up. Cool, cool. Well, shit. So, what else you got working on, man? I mean, cause you know, I seen that you you with the with the OG with the homie Bo. Me you know, what I'm saying y'all 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 brewing some shit. What y'all got cracking? That time, Thug Lords, man. You know, yeah. we back at it, man. I just uh, did a show with Spice this weekend too. So he Shout on out board. to the homie Chico. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we in there, man. I think um, that's what's missing, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, it's, that's why I love when Jeezy came out. Mm -hmm. That new Jeezy album like really balanced it up. I heard it everybody dope, doing man. a lot of copycat shit going mm -hmm. on. Like it's like the same beats, mm -hmm. the same harmonizing, the same features. It's like yeah. a continuous playlist that's playing the same song over right. and fucking over, right? Right. So I think the OGs coming out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With their style, with they with they type of lane, mm -hmm. the stand of that and not really doing what this is like a breath of fresh air. That right. Jeezy album was a breath of fresh air. That Snowfall? Mm -hmm. Lord, I heard it was dope. I ain't heard it What yet, the f man, go yeah. check it out. Like he, he ain't grown man shit. He ain't he ain't been like this in a while. Mm -hmm. This sound like BMF. Cause that last album was some grown man shit. Nah, this some yeah. super grown man. Mm -hmm. It it seemed like uh what what this shit called when you when you talk about shit when it ain't legal no more. What yeah. this what that didn't trap uh, not trap man. Uh, what this called when double it, jeopardy? Nah, nah. When 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 when, when it's past the time for to be charged. Oh, statue for a crime. of limitations. Statue. Yeah, statue it of seemed like the yeah. statue of limitation is up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, that's all. Oh, I'm, okay. Yeah. I got you. He I'm talking that type oh, of okay. shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're talking yeah. shit that we yeah. ain't heard him say. Yeah. It's, it's like it's like the it's like the prelude to yeah. thug yeah. motivation. I got you. Yeah. Exactly. I got you. Yeah. I got you. I'm gonna have to fuck with it. I'm gonna have to fuck with it. Yo, that's what's up. Yeah. But um, yeah. Me and Bo. Me and Bo loking up, man. Um. I think old school music is missed. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's why these old school retro concerts are so dope. With Snoop Dogg, you know, DJ Quick, you know what I mean? Um, the Doll Pound, Sugar Free, you know what I mean? Um, Us, yeah, yeah, E-40, yeah, Short, yeah, Q, you yeah. know what I mean? Like Ace. all the retro shit. Master Rick. P, when y'all did y'all tour, the yeah. No Limit yeah, shit, the, no limit the love y'all yeah. got. Yeah, what, for sure. How they felt about that, tell oh, me. man, it was sold out. We Everywhere, sold, right? About 99% of the shows were sold out, bro. It was crazy, everybody in camouflage. And saying the shit word yeah, for word. Yeah, word for word, right? bro. Word for word. You know why? I mean, you see so many tanks tatted on motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, it's crazy, bro. And then it's look, crazy. word for word, right? Mm -hmm. Because they miss that yeah. shit, bruh. Yeah. So that's why me and Bo back in the lab mm -hmm. to give them some of that shit they love. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? That's some of that shit. no limit shit, that nigga, that's them, that shit. thug lord shit, rap a lot, yuck mouth shit. Yeah. yeah, give them some of that shit, man, that they yeah. miss. You know what yeah. I mean? And still keep it retro and gangster, not getting they lane. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Stay in your lane, man, you don't crash. You yeah, feel me? Shit, Straight up. Shit. So we just gonna do, we gonna stick to the code, stick to the mm -hmm. blueprint. We got dope ass producers on there. You what know producers y'all I mean? got on there? Uh, L Fingers, definitely got L Fingers on that mm -hmm. motherfucker. You know, mm -hmm. he's heavy in the Bay Area, the mechanics. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Shout out a uh, motherfucking Four Racks and Tweed. Gotta have the mechanics in the motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the boy Lansky, Die Lansky, got some shit on there. Mm -hmm. um, and then Bo got a lot of producers too, man. So yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. we just getting it in, bro. We just getting yeah, it I'm in. I'm curious, who you listening to these days? Who's uh, in your playlist? Right now, I'm playing Jeezy. Okay. <laughs> he okay. on lit right now, but uh, what about with the young niggas? What, what's young some of the young niggas, niggas you fuck, I fuck with? with man, yeah. on some real shit. Yeah, Sauce Walker, man. 
Okay. I think he's still having fun with the shit, man. Yeah. He remind me like a, of a 2022 Mac Dre. Okay. And yeah, how the things yeah, and shit yeah. was going. Songs how niggas got their personality. He got that shit. charisma. Yeah. Yeah. He remind yeah. Me, yeah. He remind me of a Mac Dre type of having fun with. Yeah. It. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean, and still having bread. Right, not being right. a cornball with it, Real you know shit. what I mean. So and standing on business, cause mm -hmm. this nigga stood on business, you right. know what I mean. So it remind me of Mac Dre. Mm -hmm. So I fuck with Sauce, um, of course, you know Jeezy, but mm -hmm. Sauce. And who else? The other nigga I fuck with, man. Mo three, man. Mo three. Oh, rest in peace. That Mo3. come outside, oh, yeah. man. Lord, boy. yeah, that shit timeless, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. goddamn. Yeah, yeah. Mo three. It was hard. Yeah, Mo three is crazy, but I'm really with the Griselda shit, man. Oh yeah, I fuck with, with the them, Griselda. man. I fuck yeah. with Griselda, man. Yeah, I fuck with motherfucking uh nigga Westside Gun. Westside Gun, you know Benny what I mean? the Butcher, Benny the Butcher, yeah. Conway, Conway the Machine, though. yeah, the Machine. That's yeah. my favorite, man. Did that they nigga... figure they little shit out? Yeah, they got their own little way. Okay, no, I'm saying I know they was having some little, you know, some little strife or whatever. I don't know what's going yeah. down, but yeah, I yeah. fuck with them. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And um. My my West Coast shit, man, is uh my West Coast shit, man. Uh, I gotta say, the nigga from the West is kicking up a lot of dust to me, man. Is uh Simba uh -huh. and La Russell. La Russell, shout out to them. Them my West Simba's Coast freestyles, yeah, yeah, yeah. back, man, back to that's back. That's who I tap yeah, in with yeah, La Russell. Yeah. And, they from where? Oakland. Antioch. Nah, 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 nah. Simba from Antioch okay. and LaRussell from uh, Vallejo. Okay. Yeah, okay. so so them them my two two, the two guys in and the Bay. Yeah, them the, mm -hmm. and in the West Coast, they yeah. they tan shit up, but period. Speaking and of then the West LA, Coast. I, I mm -hmm. still love Nip. Okay. LA you know shit, I still bang Nip. I, I seen a you know, I seen a um, I seen a streaming chart that uh uh Wendy Day posted. Shout out to Wendy Day, right? Mm -hmm. Um legendary. Yeah. And um it 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 showed where which regions were running the rap game, were more influential and were getting the most streams. Right. West Coast was like down, way down. Nothing going on. Nothing going head. on. What do you think that's attributed to? Us not having no shit, no heat. Mm -hmm. Bro, we ain't put out no heat for a minute, my nigga. Like, mm -hmm. I think the last nigga that really brought us back was the game, mm -hmm. you know, with that Dr. Dre era. In After terms that, of the traditional West Coast sound. Sound, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and have it, having the ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when the, when the game came out, that whole G-Unit shit, that whole uh, Eminem run, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. when the West Coast kind of had the ball yeah. back for a hot yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That goddamn Atlanta yeah. took that bitch and ain't gay that bitch up. I think the South then had it for a long, time, long bro. ass time, long bro. Time. Long time. I mean, time. if you think about it, Roddy Rich from Compton. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you, it's not the traditional West Coast sound. You know, uh, of course you got Kendrick, but you only got a, a handful that play it at a high, high level. I mean, right. you still got a lot of dope underground niggas, but you know what I'm saying? Nah, the West, West fell off, but we got to mm -hmm. admit, like, we got Kendrick. You know yeah. what I mean? We got Nip. You know what I mean? We got all the people up in the Bay, but far as being like the coast was like New York. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was the West Coast of New York, yeah. then down south, yeah. then the Midwest. That right. was the proper order. And East Coast, yep. West Coast, down south, mid. Yep. Now it's That's correct. down south, mid, yep. East Coast, yeah. and the West. Yeah. So the West is last in that order. I think the East is sharing the last with the West. You know what I'm saying? Because who really popping up on the East what? Coast? Who popping? I mean, Lil Uzi gotta... Vert. Okay, nigga, that's one nigga. Cardi B. What are you yeah, talking that's about? That's Nicky. You got Cardi. You got Lil Uzi. Uzi. Pop Smoke. Before Pop I, Smoke. Before he passed. Come on, Who else, man. though? I mean, that we ain't even got past five. But I that's mean, some of just the a couple years ago, you would have had right ASAP Fire. That's ASAP. Oh, come on, Yeah, dude. but they ain't, I'm saying like currently. You know what I'm saying? They are still the Cardi just put out one with Glorilla. Yeah, that's I mean Cardi is Cardi. I think yeah. I think speaking of Glorilla, I think that Memphis, God damn, Memphis got the ball yeah, right Memphis now. Memphis got the ball too. Memphis got the but ball. But that's back Memphis to down Florida. south. That's still yeah, back to that's down real. south. That's mid -south. Having the ball. You're right. You're we right. said Atlanta. No, the South got it as right. a whole right, right. now. Right, because yeah. them Florida niggas, you know, Nardo Wick and all them young niggas coming up. They they, they got it. it. Uh, Ride wave. All Nigga, like you say, Memphis put it down. Yeah. Like a motherfucker, Louisiana. Yep. Nigga, come on. The list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. Texas, mm -hmm. you know, niggas getting it in, bro. And yep. big time, especially MIA, the ATL. Come yep. on, bro. So, so niggas is definitely like putting up numbers and yep. really controlling the game. So the West still is like yep. at the last, at the bottom. Yep. We fell off, bro. Yeah. 
we fell yeah. off, bro. All we got to really stand up for us is the 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 golden era rappers. Yeah, that's we real. can brag on that. That's real. We ain't got nothing to really brag on right now. Yeah. Nipsey Hustle, you know what I mean? But yeah, we got to do something because I, you know, I'm a Midwest nigga born and raised, but I consider myself a West Coast Rowdy nigga Rich, YG, yeah. you know what I mean? Of yeah. course, those, but yeah. Who we really got to brag on, just on the West Coast? It, it just ain't been a movement, you know. It like, ain't. Yeah. TDE Everything popped is, for a second, but then yeah, but then I think Kendrick. it's just it's overshadowed by how much the South has it. Yeah, like, yeah. Man, they got so much heat coming yeah. from everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what it is too, man. The South just got that pocket, bro. You know, yeah, they do. They got that pocket. You know what I'm saying? It's that. It's and all that pocket. Let's let the pocket is great. Mm -hmm. Let's address the elephant in the fucking room. The West Coast don't support. Mm -hmm. Down South support they own. They, they fuck do. what they own. That's they all do. they bang. They yeah. live their life by they yeah. rappers and yeah. they music. No, really. And they shit. support. You could go platinum in, in, in Texas and in Houston. You go platinum in Texas alone right. without reaching the coast. Man, back, even back in the day, Slim Thug and them, they didn't have to sign. <laughs> them motherfuckers was already superstars just in their area. You know what I mean? Zero, Lil, all the Zero, all the niggas. Superstars. Yeah. Niggas yeah. selling hundreds yeah, the and hundreds of different. thousands. Yeah, they support each other. Atlanta, same way, because you can go they to Atlanta support the shit out and you hear other. some local nigga all day on Atlanta. On the radio. On the radio. <laughs> and then go to the strip club and hear <laughs> and that hear, same nigga. Hear the same nigga. shit. Yeah. Hear the same they support shit. the yeah. shit out of each other. Yeah. That's what's missing on the West Coast. We don't support each other. We too tribal. Right. It's the Bay. It's politics. LA. It's politics. Then you got gangs. gangs. Gang yeah, you got gangs and, and yeah, street shit. And you all got of that. producer yeah. politics. This producer yeah. ain't fucking with this rapper. Ain't yeah. fucking with it's like it's so much shit yeah. because niggas got inner beefs right. going on out here. Like right. that's the thing that's fucking us up. These inner beefs. Yeah. And you, we could go from the top from Sacramento Real all the way shit. down to Dago. These little inner rap beats right. is really stopping the youngsters from yeah. really coming together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The OGs like us, we fuck with each other. Yeah, real but shit. the youngsters, for them to really come yeah. together like how Down South is yeah. doing, they can't do that because all these eternal beefs that's exactly. going down, these three letter gangs, mm -hmm. you know, where you yeah. combine right. three yeah. different gangs yeah. from three different other cities and they yep. all mobbing and they mm -hmm. all rapping together. Mm -hmm. And you got this other three letter gang and another mm -hmm. gang and another gang, they mm -hmm. all funking with each other. So how can they unify? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So it's hard, you know yeah. what I mean? And that's some shit that the youngsters got to work on. We solidified. I'm from the golden era, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm Grammy nominated, my nigga. <laughs> you feel me? I, yeah. I performed at Oprah Winfrey, my nigga. The yeah. Apollo A thing, nigga. I got 12 plaques on my wall, nigga. I'm Gucci. Yeah. And a solo plaque, nigga. Yeah, pop your collar, my nigga. Yeah, I'm Gucci. <laughs> I, I achieved it all that yeah, I, I wanted to achieve. Shit. So I'm not trying to prove nothing. These young niggas got to prove something. Yeah. So it's, it's with the youngsters who got to bring the coast back, not mm -hmm. me. Absolutely. You know? Straight up. That's real shit. But shit, I ain't gonna hold you, my Hell nigga. Hell yeah, Listen, dude, it's bro, been a long one, it's man. It's been a good been a one, bro. One, hey, man. you spit some real shit on here, Yuck. So I hope I hope the youngsters really uh take note uh, of the message that 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 you know we we correlated to them today, man. Cause and you dropped some real knowledge. And then know? they need to stay tuned to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? People yeah, like me that. and you that yeah, give them sure. real knowledge. For we sure. ain't no troll niggas that's gonna exactly. troll niggas that's exactly. dead. That's gonna troll niggas yeah. just by, tr nah, we, we gonna give you some game to help shit. you maintain shit. to help you live your life right. You know exactly. what I mean, period. And you know, to your point, kind of like what you said earlier, right? When you said rap was raising these niggas, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, real shit, you know, I didn't grow up with my dad and I said for so many years that in WA, Too Short and E-40, you know, raised taught me. You. They raised right. me. You know what I'm saying? But that's when you was yeah. getting pure game. Game. E40 kept me out of prison. They weren't you know? telling you yeah. to to yeah. to, to, E40 to go kept kill me out of prison. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, the too short. Too short gave me the confidence. Ism. Yeah. The ism the and the ism. Bitch. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, 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 check you know this what I'm saying? Bitch. Yeah. yeah. NWA taught me. Hey, don't take no shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody bully you or nothing like that. Stand on on yours. You know what I'm saying? So you know it was still some Penelope. and it was still some some social commentary there as well. Yeah. You know Ice I mean? Cube, man. Ice Cube. came with America's Most Ice Cube. Wanted, America's Most deep. Wanted, Death Certificate, death certificate all of that. Deep yeah. with a message and still street. Exactly. You know I mean? And that's what I that's what me and producer Ken, that I was, was my that, that was my vision for this podcast, bro. I wanted it to be nigga shit and black excellence all in one. All in so one. that balance that right. we're saying. You know right. what I'm saying? We could have fun, we could kick it, we could talk some street shit, but at the same time, you can get a message. That you message can learn something. Shit, man. You know Just like saying? you said, the raps. 
could yep. talk gangster shit, but it was a message at the it's end that nigga, you're gonna go do a thousand gonna, yeah. years in the pen. Yeah. Somebody gonna get killed. Somebody Real gonna, shit. like, it was a message. Real like, shit. okay, this is the positive, but this is the negative. Exactly. We, and we try to keep that going. Cause this, me and this man talk daily about the shit mm -hmm. before we do a show and then right. talk about that show when it's done and the proper way to put it out mm -hmm. without fucking people over. Right. Exactly. Or Just making shit about integrity. click. Yeah. Yeah, it's, integrity. It's about integrity. Y'all yeah. edit too, so y'all can chop yeah. out shit but when we it chop gets it too up. crazy. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Cause so. I mean, you know, listen, we are, and that's another thing I want to say real quick too, man. With this social media shit, you know, everybody has such a lynch mob mentality. Everybody want to hold motherfuckers to a standard they can't be held to. You right, know what I'm saying? They can't right. hold themselves to. Say that we again all, for the people in the back. Bro, we <laughs> all misspeak. You, to a you feel that me? They that can't they can't hold even hold to. themselves to. None of well, us yeah, are that's infallible. That's game right there. None of us are infallible. None of us are perfect. I'm that, Like he said, Nobody's just editing, perfect. right? I may misspeak sometime in the heat of the moment, then got to go back and say, oh shit, I might have, I, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> we, we cut a whole episode. We cut a whole episode. You know what I'm saying? Because I, 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 I we, we got into the moment, right? Me and him was doing one. Right. And we got to talk in it. I was like, oh shit. Start talking like, about yeah. some street shit. shit. Yeah, some street shit, some personal yeah. shit. I was like, yeah, yeah I, I ain't yeah, gonna yeah. do that. Man, you know It'll how many phone calls I got from the hood about <laughs> yeah. one of my interviews? Yeah. Just we didn't got Oakland. phone calls too. We nigga, didn't got phone calls too. I did a too. Drew down interview. Yeah. You know what I mean? Two short phone calls, <laughs> nigga. They was back on Drew head. Like, it yeah. was like old school. To yeah. Like, Hold on, man. Exactly. We got to meet up, have some, you know what so I mean? So to our point, man, listen, the message to the youngsters and to the other platforms, man, let's be responsible. We can start with us. You know what I'm saying? The overall message, man, let's take accountability. Let's start with us. Let's be awesome. responsible with our voices. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, hold on. And I want to I want to hit on something too, yeah. man, because you guys are both OGs in the mm -hmm. game. And I looked up to the Loonies as a kid in Sacramento, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. But, but I know the history, and I've known this man damn near my entire life now. <clears throat> I know the history between No Limit mm -hmm. and Yuck. Right. Mm -hmm. And like here we are today. It's it's grown man yeah, shit. Yeah, like, grown man and, shit. And P mm -hmm. and P's sending you the thing and and, man, and I messaging just you. Watched it with P, man. We goofed. But man. but we yeah, no, that's all squash. Mm -hmm. But I, but I think the point is that that you could get to that space where exactly. all these young kids that we're talking about right They're now are like, doing that. Like we can yep. get to that space because mm -hmm. you're looking at it right now. Yep. My thing is this, man. I want to say this before we get up out of here. A lot of youngsters is jumping the gun, bro. Mm -hmm. Somebody having a fist fight, man, that's old school. Let exactly. it just be throwing exactly, fists, man. Nobody man. have to grab pistols and Real start shit. shooting people over Real a fist shit. fight, bro. Or an argument. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, come on, bro. We didn't used to handle business like that back nah, in the day, bro. Nah, take your ass whooping, bro. Yeah. Like, and you and guess what? A nigga get you, shit, run it back. You'll live to Go, fight another day. You'll live day. to fight another day. You'll live to fight and, another and this is day. another thing that I want to tell the youngsters. Trust me, I know it, bro. My mother used to tell me, win, lose, or draw. As long as you fight back, bro, you have nothing to be ashamed of. If you lose, motherfuckers still gonna respect you. That bully They're gonna, gonna respect, respect you. you. Mm -hmm. Like most of the time, when you stand up to the bully, yep. y'all be best friends now. Yep. We yep. seen that with Gonzo and, ba and Bosco. And Bosco, yeah. Yep. They they Real had shit. that fight. These niggas was inseparable exactly. after that. Real we shit. was gonna we you was gonna have them on the so, show. Oh, right man, that, that's a prime example in prime real example. reality, in yeah. real time. That's a great example. You know I mean, that's so, a great example. Yeah, man. Yeah. That, once you fight a motherfucker, you get their respect. You get their respect, when even if they tip draw. you up. Even yeah. if they tip you up, man, he you gonna gotta take some to give some. Real shit. So you are gonna catch a motherfucker, even though you probably he probably dog walk you. You probably caught something. Mike Tyson, a bad motherfucker, and he took. Some males, you, you know took, what I mean. Man, so that's on. just what that is, you mm -hmm. know what I mean. So hopefully they get the message, bro. You know we gonna have to do this again. I ain't. Gonna and one more thing, you. yeah, go ahead, bro. If you feel that you got to take a gun to go out, don't go out. Real shit. If you feel you need a gun to go somewhere, yep. don't go you there. You need to be there. Yeah, yeah. OG told me that years ago. Yeah, that, that's follow that's your big body shit. That's senses, big shit. man. Yeah. If something telling you, your first mind say, "Don't do something. Mm -hmm. Don't fucking do it." Yep. Don't let the second thought which is the bad thought that's gonna be like, hey, fuck that nigga, the niggas yeah. is out, we gonna celebrate, yep. we gonna pop bottles. That thought to get you fucked up. Yep, ego. And, and every mm -hmm. time I followed my first mind, it always a fucked up situation. Exactly. And nigga be like, yeah, some told me not to go. Some told yep. me not to do that. Some Real told shit. me not, and that's some told you was your first mind. Exactly. Y'all gotta start following y'all instincts, bro. Yep. We all psychic in some type of way. Yeah. That instinct, them first thoughts is letting you know ahead of time, Real no. Shit. Real right, shit. hey, that's a good. And message. when you follow that, something happens. You like, damn, something told me. Yeah, that yeah. go with your gut, man. They've go been with saying, your gut. They've been saying, and as I always say, bro, I leave them with this. You know, as they say, man. You know, uh, um, you know, ego, ego. You know what I'm saying? Ego is just the anesthesia to the pain that's caused by stupidity. 
You know what mm. I'm saying? And pride go before the fall. So you message, know what I mean? message. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pride go before the fall. That don't be a menace. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so hey, I'm gonna let you get up out of here, my hey, brother. Shit, bro. Hey, you, always, bro. bro. You gonna Big have to come court, back man. for a third time, man. We got the homie Yuck Mouth, the yeah, legendary nah, Yuck Mouth, this motherfucker, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Holding court with Big Court, man. Already. Thanks for having me, bro. All right, for sure, always bro. Love, man. Appreciate love. y'all. Yep. Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.